Hello respected people. And welcome back to our respected minister channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and participate in the discussion. Linda Burney MP tweet. Nuclear energy is too slow to keep the lights on, too expensive to build, and too risky for Australia's future energy needs. This means higher energy bills that you'll have to pay. Tracy. Well, I appreciate the information. I had no idea you were knowledgeable about nuclear energy. When did you become an expert in that field? Chef Jeffor. Yeah, but think about the opportunity it could provide, particularly to Aboriginal Australians, you know the ones you are meant to care about so deeply. John Metzner. You just may want to go back to school, sit down and study hard, you just may learn something this time around. Or is that too much to hope for? GoTac. And how is the green hydrogen working out? Green hydrogen is a costly exercise that will cost the taxpayer too much, in hopes of creating an industry that doesn't even exist. At least the nuclear industry exists. Peter. Nice to see you back Linda, haven't heard from you since the voice, remember that Linda. You do realize that seven nuclear plants could be built for about $200 billion, which is about five years worth of indigenous contributions. At least we will all get the benefit of nuclear. Robert Mason. You don't need nuclear energy for higher energy bills. As of the 1st of July energy bills are increasing again anyway. I guess the $275 reduction in energy costs was nothing more than a big, fat, ugly lie. One of so many big, fat, ugly lies perpetrated by this gov. Max Flagranti. Nuclear is cheaper than unreliables in the longer term. It will provide cheap, constant, reliable power for our industries and will protect the environment. Look at Snowy 2.0. $20 billion dollars down the drain. Labor fears technology and thinks Australians can't build nuclear. This concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinion in the comments below. If you found this video informative, then like it and share it with your fellow political enthusiasts and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australian politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.